Looking at the Lockheed Constellation today, you can almost see the historic flight path the plane has traveled over the last 80 years. Commissioned in 1939, the Connie broke the era's transcontinental speed record on a flight from California to New York in 1946. During the 50s, she served as Air Force One for President Eisenhower. But when jet engines knocked prop planes out of business, Connie had to find a new job. Our plane used to be an Alaskan bush pilot plane uh, and then was a drug running plane in the 1970s. Uh, got stuck in Honduras, uh, was resurrected, sold for $150 uh, and brought back to Florida. Then it was brought to Maine. Uh, but it's been sitting in the same spot in Maine for almost 35 years. Tyler Morse is the CEO of MCR, the company developing the new TWA hotel at JFK Airport. The hotel will be the first on the campus of JFK and pays homage to the historic TWA flight center. JFK was the first airport uh, and the most significant major airport in the world when it was built. So we're playing catch up a little bit. But the story of TWA can't be told without the Connie. So when Morse and his team found one of the four remaining planes available in Maine, they jumped at the chance to make it part of the hotel. The plane has already been through a massive restoration and a major journey down I-95. By spring, she'll be converted into a retro cocktail lounge that will open with the hotel. Well, we're standing here in front of the tail of the plane, which will be reattached once it finds its final landing spot in front of Terminal 5. The propellers will also be added back to the engines, and they say once you go on board, it will be like you're stepping right back into 1962. Travel was an incredible experience, so we want that feeling of anticipation. Uh, and our aircraft here uh, is part of that theater. The only thing missing will be the cigarette smoke. Reporting from JFK, Joe Masiri, Pix 11 News.